Okay, so today I'm going to show you a few release techniques for your glutes. All you need is a tennis ball. These are just a few simple techniques that are really effective in releasing those tight glutes, deep glute muscles. So you might have heard like your periformis, your deep hip rotators. Often with a, a large majority of us, our outer glute muscle, our large glute muscle back here is weak. And when that's weak, a lot of the muscles around that area have to overcompensate. So they get tight, they get overworked. So our deep hip rotators are, are one of those group of muscles. So this is a really easy way of getting in and releasing them. You're going to start in this position. You're going to take your leg that you're stretching and you're going to rest that ankle on the opposite knee. Then you're going to take your tennis ball and you're going to place it under that hip. Okay. Now you can control the amount of pressure you're putting through the ball by how much weight you're taking on your arms. Here I'm taking a lot of weight through my arms and I'm not putting a lot of pressure through the ball. So it might be a better way to ease into it if you are quite sore in that area. If not, you want to progress it a little further, you can come down onto your elbows and just put a bit more weight through that hip. Now what you're doing here, you're rolling the tennis ball around, trying to find that really tight, sore area. When you do, you can either keep the pressure on that area for 30 seconds to a minute or so, or you can just roll over and back, back and forth over that area. Then you'll eventually, after a minute or so, you will hopefully find that area just starts to loosen off a little bit. Then you can move on to the next sore area and so on. So you only want to stay in the area just for three, four minutes or so at a time, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get you to roll over onto your side. People are commonly really tight on this side of their hip as well. So you're rolling on your side, you're getting the tennis ball and you're just placing it under your hip, okay? And you're gonna put weight over on the tennis ball. So the tennis ball's just right under here. Again, I can control the amount of pressure I'm putting through the ball. I can come up higher onto my arm and I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure through it if I'm quite sore. Or I can come down here and put quite a, I'm at quite a good bit of pressure through that ball. And again, you're just looking for the sore area and you're going over and back, up and down over that sore area just for a minute or two, then moving on to the next area and so forth. So if you're finding you are tight in that area, then just working on getting the tennis ball out and just spending three, four or five minutes a day working on those areas can really help.